with shading and open fills, you get the ability to color blend easily. So I have here a complex fill that has a tatami um, stitch type in it. And um, I'm going to want this to be a setting sun. So I'm going to go down to my Create Special toolbar. If you don't know where that is, it's in this one right here. You can also go to Window, Toolbars, and down to Toolbox Flyout and get your Create Special Tools. And when it opens, the color blending is the one that looks like the hexagon with from white to red. You can click on that. And now you choose the top color, you choose the bottom color, and how they sew. So I want the top to be red, the bottom to be yellow. I want the yellow to be a solid fill, like the blue that you see in the background. So I'm going to click on this profile. The red, however, I want to go in a different profile. So let's try this one. And then you do this and you click OK. And you get the sun, the setting sun. Now, if you need to make um, changes to this or anything, you do need to undo it and redo it. But just to show you the other, the opposite one of this, if I undo this and select it and go back into the color blending, I'm going to choose the one, the end one now. The first one it was very loose up at the top and then got very dense at the bottom. This one's actually going to do the opposite. It's very tight up top and then gets loose at the bottom. So that's color blending. You also get what we call accordion spacing. And that is doing it, it's using it in this but you but that's two colors together if you just want to do it with one single color and one object you can select it and this it happens to be an input a with a satin stitch now the uh, accordion spacing the icon is this icon right here and if you right click on it it will go automatically to the properties over so you have the same profiles that you had with the color blending. So I could make it this one, or that one, this one. It's just up to you what you need. Now I do want to show you, you this because this is starting right here and ending down here, it will automatically start here and run up to here. That's a travel run that you can't do anything about. So what you need to do is you need to make sure when you create these you start it on one end and end it on the opposite side on the bottom end. That way it'll get rid of all of the travel runs and you don't use underlay on it. Now that's with an input A object with a satin stitch. Now, with a fill stitch, a tatami stitch, this one right here, I've opened it up, and this is a solid tatami with um, two spacing. So it's, it doesn't have the accordion spacing on it. I could put it on there very easily like this. Um, but it's, it's normally like this. This is the way I want it. Well, there's that travel run again. And sometimes it's not, you, you can't do anything about it. So what you have to do is, you actually have to use what is called Trapunto, and that comes with the shading and open fills. And that's this icon right here. And what its only um, job is to force these travel runs along the outer edge. So if I click it, it will force those runs along the outer edge, and you don't see them inside of the stitching. Two other things that come with the shading and open fills. Um, one is the stipple fill and that's this one right here. And stipple is a run that does not cross itself. You can change the um, the cord the minimum length, you can change the adjustment, the run length, and you can also change the loop spacing. That's a pretty high loop spacing. So let's go into maybe point one. 
and hit enter and you can see that it does a lot more squiggies okay the um this can easily be changed to stipple back stitch this is just a stipple run stitch it can also stipple a back stitch or it can stipple a triple stitch or a stem stitch now the cross stitch fill and that's this icon here or if you go into fills you can choose cross stitch fill and it becomes little X's now this is very high in stitch count because you're doing 14 stitches per inch and there's three or four threads and doing a full cross so if I look at the color object list that object alone by itself and it's only 3.38 by 3.38 is 17,000 stitches so that's a very intense um, thick one and notice it does not do half ones and follow the circle if it was a square it'd be very good so that um, is all of the things that you get in shading and open fields.